Okay, so I'm quickly going to show you how to stretch an image in Photoshop. This is my stacked image. It's made up of 57 light frames and it's super, super dark. The first thing you want to make sure in Photoshop is that from your stacking program, you have saved the frame as a 16 bit TIFF file. If it's not a 16 bit TIFF file, um, well, if it's not a TIFF file, you'll struggle to open it up in Photoshop. If you've accidentally saved it as a 32 bit TIFF file, you'll need to go to image mode and here select 16 bits per channel. So now to stretch the image, it's pretty simple. Click on image, adjustments and levels. You'll notice here all the data compressed into a single spike. Just move the mid slider to the left, just to the right of the edge of the cut of the of the spike and click OK. You'll start to see hints of the uh, the deep sky object appear. If we go back to layers again, sorry, levels again, you'll notice that spike has moved to the right. Now bring the left slider just to the left of it and the middle slider to the right just to the right of it. And if we keep doing this progressively, eventually you'll see the object start to appear and become brighter. So there we go, we're stretching the image. Now, when we get to this point, it's important to always keep the black point slider to the left of your, your curve or spike. If you move it into the area, you'll notice that the area, the background area of the image becomes very dark. Now, this is great at masking little imperfections, but it's actually something called black clipping. So always keep it to the left. And also don't clip other areas of, the, of your image too. So just keep conservatively stretching until you're happy. So now at this point, all I would do, one final adjustment is with the curves tool. Now go to curves and I'd make a small click here and a small click here to give the curve a slight S shape. You don't need to do anything too drastic, but I find it just highlights the detail in your image whilst keeping a pleasant air, like um, level of darkness or grey in the background. And that's it for this section on stretching images on in Photoshop. So in this part of the video, I'm going to quickly how to show you, well, just discuss stretching in Astro Pixel Processor. Astro Pixel Processor or APP is a little bit different to the other programs in that it sort of does an auto stretch. Now you can, every time you load a frame in, it will carry out this DDP stretch. So if you can untick that, you'll see that the image goes black. If you put it back, you know, it comes, it, it carries out that stretch again. If we boost the saturation, means the colours get brighter, more vivid. And we can also select like no stretch in this drop down box or, you know, change the value accordingly. Five sigma means a bit of a less of a stretch. Three sigma is a stronger stretch and two sigma is, an, is the strongest stretch that you can do. If I go to two sigma, you'll see the image become very sort of blown out. So it depends on your data and what your image looks like, but I always find that 15% background, 3 sigma, 0% base is a good starting point. And then you can change or just adjust it ever so slightly 
with this, these sliders here. So this is the strength of the stretch. The lower the number, the stronger the stretch. So we'll see it go brighter, or oh, sorry, darker. And vice versa. Generally, though, I tend to stick to auto as I find it gives quite a good result. And that's it really for stretching in Astro Pixel Processor. You can then save the data as stretched or save it unstretched, um, depending on how you want to carry the data over into another program or whether you're just going to work on it in this program. And lastly, I'm going to talk about stretching in PixInsight. Now, PixInsight has a lot of tools to carry out stretching and different types of stretching. So in this video, I am literally going to talk about the histogram transformation um, function. So I've opened up my image. This time I've opened up the, the, the FITS file that was stacked. So it's probably still 32 bit. That's fine because PixInsight can work with that. And I'm going to start by doing the screen transfer function and I'm going to nuke it. So that's almost like an auto stretch. So that shows us what is actually there. But that auto stretch hasn't actually been applied to the data. The data is still linear. So if we want to apply that stretch to my data, to show you what it's like without the auto stretch still dark we go to process or process histogram transformation now i'm going to take this triangle from the screen transfer function and drag it onto the bottom and suddenly that line has just changed Right about this point, I'm going to click that circle and it's going to bring up a white screen and that's our live preview box. I'm then going to go to the top hand, top right hand part of the screen and turn off this screen transfer function. So currently we're, we're getting ready to apply the same stretch that the screen transfer function did to our, our data. I'm going to select the view that applies and I'm, like Photoshop this also has uh, black point and midpoint sliders so I'm going to click apply and suddenly we've got those peaks just like we had in Photoshop and I'm going to do exactly the same as I did there keep the black point slider just to the left of the peak and the midpoint to the right so as not to clip any data and I'm going to keep conservatively stretching the data until I'm happy with it. So if I take off this live preview, there we go. There's no screen transfer function applied and the data has been stretched. So I hope you found this video useful. Beginning astrophotography can be quite daunting. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any requests for certain videos or anything that you need help with, please leave it in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching.